and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do a CNC writing job. We're going to take this log, uh, which I have actually split off, and um, because over the period of time that I worked with this, which is probably 12 months now, it's uh, warped slightly. Oh, it's a bit heavy. This is Tasmanian oak, so you can see how it's how it's warped. So we're going to put this on the CNC router. Oh. We're going to put this on the CNC router, and we're going to write a short program in ArtCam to face this down flat. Then, what I intend to do is carve a. Uh, a picture frame and a three-dimensional design inside this block of wood. But I want to leave the back as it is on the back side. So it'd be quite a surprise in, I suppose, someone's lounge room. Someone's seeing an old piece of log like this, but when you turn it round, beautiful three-dimensional carving. So we'll get on with that. I must apologize here for no sound because the batteries actually went in my radio microphone device. So this is quite important. What I'm trying to show you here is uh, you just roughly mark the center of the material and um, you know, get the tool lined up with, the, with that mark then you can go into Mark 3 and press the X and the Y to zero both those positions. Uh, the Z has already been done here. Then you go and press the Regen and you'll notice that the, 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 the plan view here will actually jump into the correct position within Mark 3. Just like that. Okay, so I've turned the machine off now and stopped the program. Um, so what I'm going to do now is re-register the Z here because this is all hol in a hollow down here and it's not going to cut anything. So it's just going to run the whole program and just air cut. So to um, save time, and I, I only wrote the program going down three millimeters at a time and then stop because um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to take off. So um, I'll re-register this now and then restart the program. And you'll notice that I, I'm using the pendant. Um, anybody who buys one of these machines off us or any of uh, models, I strongly advise to, to have one of these as well because they're I use this more than anything now. Um, they're a real help. Okay. Function probe. And that's reset. It's as simple as that. Okay. Incidentally, this is my uh, mate from uh, the land of Harry Potter, actually. Uh, where we were brought up and we're uh, old mates since we were about 10 or 12 year old, I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's uh, here on holiday uh, for uh, three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. So he'll be up here give me a hand now and again. Okay, so now we've set this, I can start up. Maybe not. Oh no. <laughs> you reset it. Uh, no, I reset. I don't know what, what happened then. There we go.
Okay, I've loaded into Mac 3 now the program. Uh, it's actually going to be a, a, a bunch of flowers uh, in a vase. Uh, and in a, it's inside a dish that's going to be machined inside here. Um, so what we'll do now is, uh, I've already changed the, the tool and we'll press the function and probe key. Okay, so now that's all set to go. So all we do now is press start. Nice job. Um, it's got a little bit of hand finishing to do, but that's turned out quite spectacular for a for an old log. I'll take it off the machine. I'll clean it up a little bit, and um, I'll show you 
what it's turned out like because it's quite spectacular actually. Well, I'm really, really pleased with that. It's still a lump, but I'm really pleased with that. If I can fetch this up to you so you can, you can see it's, it's still a log. But what a surprise on the other side. Now, all I'm going to do with that is probably put some some linseed oil on it uh, the top inside here and, and the bottom just to seal it up a bit I think I'm just going to leave it like that it's a rough diamond so I hope you've uh, enjoyed uh, this video and the preceding video um, of actually putting this together in at cam standard um, so thank you for joining me and I hope you uh, visit both my channels now because I have uh, this is Australian inventors workshop where there's uh, wood turning CNC routers uh, shop jobs mini mill and a little bit of a um, little bit of laser um, and I also have opened a second channel uh, which is the Australian Inventors Laser Lab where I go into or I intend to go into great detail uh, regarding lasers and how to operate them so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now